What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're going deer hunting again, and we're stacking the odds in my favor. Okay, we're taking tricks right out of the Viet Cong's playbook. The number one thing we're taking is this weird little camo netting stuff. Now, I'm telling you right now, last time I was kind of scared to get up because even if I'd move a little bit, the deer would see me. Not this time, buddy. They're going to think I'm PewDiePie. They ain't even going to know I have legs. All they're going to be able to see is a camo net. Also, I've seen a lot of people in the comments say I should figure out how to shoot uh, sitting down. Um, that'd be great but I have like 10 minutes before I'm supposed to be out there, so I don't have, I don't think I have time to learn. Maybe I'll practice and pull back in the stand, but that's a whole different story, guys. One way or another, guys, we are not messing around. We got the arrows. We are about to kill a deer. I'm sitting here telling you guys, I've decided I'm going to try my best not to kill the kid this time, but I am going to try my best to kill the mom. I've had a lot of people tell me like, hey man, if you kill the kids, the other kid and the mom's probably going to be perfectly fine. And then I've had people say, if you kill the mom, the two kids are going to be fine. Basically, what everyone's been saying is there is no wrong answer. Answer, okay just shoot something but here's my philosophy i'm going for the bigger dough and here's the reason one she's got more meat that's my only reason okay and the slaughterhouses around here don't change their prices depending on how big the deer is it's one straight price now got my release right here got my oh the bow of course oh gosh it's pretty important that's probably like the most important part to me but here's what i'm going to do before i even go out there i'm going to set y'all up right here i'm going to shoot my bow just like this because i'd really hate to figure out that my bino holder is going to get in the way of my bow string whenever i'm trying to kill a deer so i'm going to try it now and if it does get in the way i'll just take it off as soon as i get up in the stand but anyways i'm going to come back here set y'all up on this teeny tiny weird looking tripod and we're just going to try our best guys i'm thinking for 30 yards just hold a little bit high and we're going to sling some arrows I I'm confident, guys. I am confident with my Crocs. I'm sorry that's not the best angle, but honestly, you're just trying to deal with it, Jared, because I ain't going back in the house and getting the full tripod. Here we go. I hope you can see the target over there. I'm just going to pull my bow back, and if everything works out good, then we are ready to go. Honestly, guys, I don't think it will because my binocular pack is a little bit right on my chest. So, oh, no, brother. We're good. Good luck at anchoring point. Missed the bullseye, but that's okay, because I really wasn't aiming for it. All right, guys, just uh, figured it out. With both my binocular pack and my big furry bomber hat, both of which available at kindergarten1.com slash shop or the first link in the description. Even when the binoculars are in here, also available at kindergarten1.com slash shop or first link in the description. It doesn't get in the way of my bow strength. Now, that gives me a whole lot more confidence and a whole lot more warmth because I'm not going to have to take this off. Anyways, guys, we're kind of in a fight against time, so I'm just, I'm going to head on out there. I've still got to try my best to set up that uh, Viet Cong net there because, like I said, guys, we're going to try to stack the odds. I'm going to try not to come out without a deer. Okay, guys, I'm up in the tree right now. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful oak tree. It's probably been here before Mammy even breathed her first breath. It's just a remarkable piece of nature. Hashtag Jesus. But now let me actually tell you about some of the hunt today. My route to the tree stand was way different. So usually I come out of the field, walk right down this road, jump over those logs like a little rabbit, and then I walk straight to the tree stand. If you remember the last time we came out here hunting, the deer came from there hopped the fence, walked over my trail, got extremely, like, kind of triggered, and then they came around, and then they smelled me again, got even more triggered, and then the mom continued to just look around and investigate while the two young deer just sit there and ate at the corn pile. Also, the night of the last hunt, I came out here and put up half a bag of corn out. That's not been that many days ago, but it's all gone. So, I mean, even though there's no corn, there wasn't any corn last time, and the deer still came. One thing I do know, there's been a lot of deer in the area because all the corn's gone. But anyways, back to my route. Today, I came through the field, cut off right here, walked down. Then I walked down, 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 down. Almost like a rabbit, and I went way down there, and then I cut straight up to the deer stand. Hopefully, that should be good because the deer won't walk right over my scent. And even if they do track me a little bit, maybe they'll think I went on down the hill before they smell me cutting back up. I think I should have a pretty good chance today. But my biggest change of the day, my Viet Cong netting. I'm actually in a buddy stand and it's like super safe. So it has this giant bar that comes over my head. And my plan is to use this bar to my advantage. Most of my body, as you can tell, is below it. And that's like my feet and my toes, everything that moves is literally below this bar. So a lot of people do this around Mario. They get netting and then they kind of just hang it up. 
it should be super easy so i'm gonna set y'all up right here and then i'll show you a time lapse of me setting it up and don't worry zach i am gonna put in 12 days of christmas music <laughs> Harder than I thought, and this thing is not that big at all. even covered up this corner plus it's kind of wavy and honestly i don't know how that's going to do i don't know if that's going to make them notice me more because it's never been here before because it does shake a little bit but i mean normal leaves shake but i feel like if a deer just looks up here and sees this thing shaking he's going to look at it immediately but then after sister and shakes with the wind he's going to understand what it is but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and uh if anything happens i'm gonna try to shoot it I mean, if a big gust of wind comes, this thing's going flying down, but I don't know, guys. We'll do what we can. In the last hunting video, y'all actually liked how I came in here and uh, told you a little bit what was happening during the hunt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. At this point, the deer are coming in. As you can see, there's actually two in the picture and these are in fact the two little kids. Now at this point, the two kids are just sitting there at the pile. That one's definitely noticed me, okay? Just like I was saying whenever I was walking in, I feel like he's gonna notice the uh, shaking Vietnam net. Look up and see it and then like question it a lot. Well, he definitely did that. He looked at it and then he really like never took his eyes off of it again. But at this point, I'm like, okay, here's the two kids. Usually the mom is right behind them. Their mom is our target. But then some time ticked on and they licked the saw block a little bit and then they just started moving out. And I was like, well, that's weird. Their mom's not here. Did someone else kill her before I could? Well, hot dog, son. Stinking peanut got out there and killed her or something. I don't know. So then whenever they move on down the hill, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, snap. There she is. The mom had straight flanked me. She went completely around the corn pile and then met them down at the bottom of the hill, which was way out of range. And at this point, I was looking, I was like, oh, there's the three deer. And then I was like, oh, come on, dude. There's actually four deer down there. And then I looked again, it was just a squirrel. So there's really only three. But they got around me, and man, I just don't know what to do anymore. Actually, I'm kidding. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Keep watching the video to find out. Stop. 
mind because this location may be busted. Good job, Kendall. <laughs> okay, guys, it's about too dark. I'm, I'm going to leave now. The only reason you can see me is from the light off the camera. I really thought I was going to get some today. Like, I really thought I was. <laughs> if that, that, that mom pulled a trick on me, she's good. She's smart. It's probably why she's still here. If she's gonna be honest, she's evaded me for six years in a row. It's getting pretty cold. Dude, you are kidding me. Literally, as soon as I walk up in this field, like four deer just take off running. What in the world? I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Oh, there they go. I can't, I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll try to show you. Y'all may not be able to see it, but they're out there. All I could see was their white tails. Like I, I'm looking at them right now. I can't see their body. I definitely just sit in that tree stand right out in the edge of the woods and all the deer were in the field. That makes me wonder because are, is, is they, are these four different deer? Because those three that I saw, they went the other way. Or did they like circle around? Either way, this video is definitely not over and we are definitely not hunting in that stand next time. And I've actually got a plan in the back of my head, but I'm not going to tell it to you till tomorrow, which is basically a couple more seconds of the video, but I have a master plan. I'm about positive it's going to work. If I could shoot 60 yards, I could probably kill that deer, but I can't, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to go on home. I don't know. All you people in the comment section, you act like hunting is easy. Hunting is not easy, especially trying to kill a deer with a bow. Like, no. I don't care what you say. It's not that easy. Like, yeah, I probably could have killed that kid, but we decided we don't want to kill the kid, okay? We're going to go for a mature doe. Because as far as I know, that kid could actually be a buck. Okay, guys, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You're, you're going to have to come a little bit close. There you go. You're going to have to get down on my level, which is very low. Just saying. All right, now you're good. Now that's, that's pretty good, guys. We're at the pretty good level, all right? You can, like, see me whenever I'm bent down. Like, whenever I go prone... Okay, all right, whenever I go prone, you can't see me, but crouch position, I think we're pretty good. You didn't need to know that, but now you do. All right, I told y'all I was going to tell you my plan the next day, which is actually right now, but I'm changing my mind. I'm not telling you till later in the video. Sorry. Take me to jail. But here's the thing, guys. Right now, we're going to shoot our bow a little bit. Got the bow target back there, as you can see. Um, we need a little bit more practice. I don't know if you remember in the last hunting video, but... I wasn't, well, in this hunting video, actually, I wasn't dead eye, okay? I wasn't hitting the mark exactly where I wanted to. I could definitely kill a deer, but I want to be, I want to be, like, dialed in, guys. Like, I want to be able to shoot some guy's eye out if I have to. Not that I'm going to, but if, if I have to. That didn't sound right. But anyways, what we're going to do right now, if you remember, I have this one lighted knock. And that way you can actually see where my arrow goes. But I only got one until a couple days ago. Listen, guys, we got hooked up. Thanks to these people right here, they are called NAP, or New Archery Products. They have lighted knocks. They're basically called NAP. They come in a couple different colors. I have blue and green. Right now, I'm just going to put on the green ones. Just like last time, whenever we fixed up the arrows, we're going to play a pretty majestic Christmas time lapse as I hook up the illuminated knock. Here we go. Okay guys, just figured out how to turn them on and off. To turn these on, I've used some lighted knocks before. And you go like get in there with a knife and like uh, pull it out. It's really weird. With these, it is like super simple. As soon as it like engages, the light turns on. The light's right there. But all I gotta do is like click out the knock and it turns off. That's really awesome. Now I'm done wasting your time, I guess. Continue with the time lapse. <laughs> Just like that, we're done. Uh, we only have a few little weird parts here that we're not going to use. I'll put them in this little bow thing. And now, guys, let's go ahead. Let's shoot a little bit. Let's see how they do. Well, like I was saying earlier, I am going to tell you the plan, but not right now. Like, it's a really good plan, and it's kind of going to have to, you know, take a little time to ferment, if you know what I mean. But anyways, guys, here we go. I'm going to try to line y'all up real good with the target. That way, hopefully, you can see my arrow fly. Ready? This should be pretty good right here. All right, here we go. I'm just going to aim... The uh, dead center, basically. Ooh, I may have to reside in my bow with these new knocks too. Never really thought about that, but I may have to. Maybe. That one was pretty good. That one was like right where I aimed. 
That one was pretty good too. What can I say? I'm just a true marksman. The modern day Robin Hood something. I'm just kidding. I can do a lot better if I just try to hit it here with like a truck or something. I'm, I'm way better at that. I think all my stuff's hitting a little high though. All right, let's go check it out. Hopefully we get the results we're looking for, but if we don't, hey guys, listen. That's why we're out here right now. That's why we're test shooting. That's why we're trying to get better. Um, the results not extremely surprising kind of kind of in a, they're kind of in a way consistent with these two pretty close together i was aiming right there that one aiming right there this one aiming right there that one aiming right there listen guys i'm shooting about what is that inch inch and a half high as we can see all the knocks are lighted so that's a good sign what i was actually doing i actually wasn't really using a exact pin i was shooting in between pins but let me just use the top pin guys we're really just out here practicing we're trying to better ourselves and more importantly like we're trying to gain confidence in ourselves the more confidence i have the more likely i am to shoot at and kill any deer that's fact guys that's fact best thing you can do if you just want to kill a deer is practice more and that's the case with everything if you want to do better at basketball i ain't even gonna make that reference I know basically nothing about basketball. I was a state runner-up twice in a row. I was also 12th man, and it was 8th grade. I'm still on the team, though. Gotta give me that. Best water boy in the whole tournament. And if you want to get technical about it, I was actually 11 and a half. Because 12th and 11th man were basically tied. So, yeah, I was 11th man. My shoulder's a little tired. I uh, got the flu shot yesterday. I'm really starting to feel it. That is really bad, but that's why we're practicing. I'm thinking four out of five shots should do pretty good. The one I'm excluding is the last one. Oh yeah, that's that's like really good actually. The last one was this one. I'm excluding it, but that one, a hey, bros, that's pretty good. This one, a hey, bros, that's pretty good. These two, that that's pretty good. I mean, I thought I was aiming over here for one of them, but I guess not. And if I was, I'm sure not gonna admit it now. I think we'll go through a few more arrows. And then I'm going to release my master plan. The one that will bring peace to the forest. I guess I I'm just trying to make a Star Wars reference. Let's go check them out. Like I was saying just then, my arm's getting like really tired. I think I'm going to end it right here. 15 arrows, that's not awful. I don't know, guys. I mean, all of them kind of touch the circle. Here I shoot in here, there I shoot in there, there I shoot in there, there I shoot in there. I'm also shooting to the right on all of them except that one, which I'm not going to talk about. Anyways, guys, I think that's all right. Maybe I'm just getting tired. We'll shoot some more maybe another day. Let's come on to the master plan. It is gonna be it. So now we're at the buddy stand uh, right over there is where I was using the Vietnam netting system. It's kind of still there, but it's basically gone. The corn's all gone. The trail camera's in my hand. The bait's gone out of that trap. I threw that trap because I don't know, nothing's happening with it. I'm planning on moving this trail camera to a new location, but first I figured we'd go ahead and uh, listen to some sweet mute Christmas music and go ahead and check the trail camera while we're at it too. So here we go. Look at that. There's so many dogs here. That's one reason why I'm gonna stop trapping this area is because there's like literally so many random dogs. That dog did not just go poop on my trap. You're kidding me. That dog is pooping on my trap. You are kidding me. I've seen it all now. Uh oh, we got a visitor. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm? Hmm? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Check this out. We got a visitor. Any of y'all recognize that animal? It doesn't have a tail and it's walking like a cat. Boom, it's a bobcat. Gotcha. We have a bobcat in the area. Yes, sir, we do. That's okay, guys. We'll take care of him. We will also eat him. Bobcat tastes way better than coyote, I promise. And boom, that pretty well concludes all of the trail camera pictures. 
we're going to delete them we did have that picture of the bobcat or the video of the bobcat guys that's our that's kind of going to be one of our targets i mean i like bobcats one thing that does kind of throw me off is how the bobcat literally walked directly over my steel trap and uh didn't even pay attention to it that's that's one of the bad parts but that is for another day okay that's for a trapping video this is a deer hunting video with my master plan to destroy them all Kind of. Or at least just one of them. But we got what we need. Trail camera in the front, horses in the back. Let's go unravel my master plan. Spoiler alert, we're just going to get in a different tree stand. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, guys, operation master plan has begun. Step one, get you a big bag of corn, stick it on your back, and walk down a mountain. Ow, 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 my elbow. Ow, 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 stick, ow, ah. Oh, crocs, no, crocs, crocs. Lack of traction. Lack of traction. Now here's the plan, guys. We're gonna pick a whole different tree stand, and uh, because I've not hunted here that often, I've hunted here like once or twice this year. Ow, that hurts. And my plan is obviously to kill a deer. I've hunted like a ton in that tree stand back there, and I feel like the deer have uh, kind of got used to me by now. They spotted me a couple times this year, and a lot of times last year, and about every time I went the year before that. This stand, I don't remember being spotted, except once or twice or maybe three or four times but it's not been lately okay that's a big that's a big jank plus i've never had corn down here so we're gonna put up the trail camera and see what in the world happens i know that there's a ton of deer here because i almost hit them every time i'm trying to drive home and so hopefully these deer will be a little bit easier to kill since they're used to me a little bit more and by going to this spot we're going to get away from those little kids another thing by going to this spot we're going to have a better chance of attracting squirrels after i set up this corn pile maybe i'll have a few hybrid hunts where i try to kill squirrels and deer at the same time with the same boat with the same arrow <gasps> it's gonna be crazy guys it's gonna be crazy ow this is heavy ah, i'm dropping it no okay we're good Ah, boys here's the thing there's the deer stand we gotta figure out where in the world can i set a corn pile where i can have my trail camera set on the corn but still be able to stand up and pull my bow back without them seeing me from the corn pile that's a lot of words and you may not have a clue what i'm talking about long story short I don't know where to put the corn. If I put it right here, they're going to be able to see me out of their peripherals super easy. If I put it over there, I may not be able to see them because of all the trees. If I put the corn pile right here, I can put the trail camera right there. All these leaves will big time block out their view from me. And then I can shoot them whenever they walk away from the corn pile. Guys, I think that's a winner winner chicken dinner if I've ever seen one. Plus, if I'm feeling lucky, I may be able to weave an arrow straight through those little beech leaves. Now, I think it's a good plan. Let's do this. Come on, bag of corn. You're coming with me. This is a stick up, and you may not make it out alive. Now, this may just be a random looking corn pile, not even flat ground, but we're going to try our best. Come on, corn. Get out of the bag. Get out of the bag. I said get out of the bag. Now. I just wonder, because I've never put corn out in this location before, how long is it going to take them to find it? Like, are we expecting, like, a day or two, or, like, maybe a week, or are we talking, like, two or three years? I'm just kidding, guys. I think it'll be about a day or two, and then they'll be able to see it, could probably come eat it. Same for the squirrels, though. I'm also using this to try to attract some squirrels. But anyways, guys, in the meantime, I'm just going to come in here and, uh, Set y'all down in the corn while I come over here and set this trail camera on this tree. And we are clear to go home and watch the Mandalorian. Now, I didn't set out all the corn. The main reason is uh, if uh, these deer never find the corn and for some odd reason it literally just sits there and spoils, I won't have wasted a full bag of corn. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. You can click right over here to watch my deer hunting playlist. Got some pretty epic videos in there. And then if you want to watch my one and only successful deer hunt on the entire channel, you can watch it right over here. You may have already watched it, but I encourage you, go ahead and watch it again because there's no guarantee I will ever kill a deer on YouTube again.